Mary Dominique. For those of you that don't know me, I am a professional hair and makeup artist. Every day at work, I get questions on this look. This is my basic everyday glam for work using Lily Lashes. I always get questions like, Mare, what foundation are you using? What is that lipstick? What lashes are you using? And how do you apply them? So I figured how fun to make a video for you guys that you can just refer to and get all of your questions answered. So this is my personal work glam. I do this every day. I feel like when you look good, you feel good, it makes me feel confident. I feel like as a hairdresser, it's really important to do that and it makes your clients have confidence in you. This look takes me about 20 minutes. It's super easy. I'll be sharing some of my favorite products. You guys use your favorite products. I will also be including some of my tips and tricks and you guys, if you have any questions while you're watching, just comment them below and I will answer you guys. So without further ado, let's watch. Okay, so I already went in, I cleansed my face and I moisturized and primed, which is crucial for a good makeup look. You always wanna do that before applying your foundation. So next you're gonna grab whatever you use to apply your foundation. I am partial to the Beauty Blender, it's my favorite. I just feel like it gives me a really seamless look with no streaks. You can use whatever you'd like. For foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever in the shade of 415. So you're just gonna take a few drops of your foundation and apply it right to the Beauty Blender. Finding the right foundation is extremely important. It's actually a pet peeve of mine. You always wanna make sure you're matching your skin so that your face is not mismatched. So you're gonna go right in with the Beauty Blender and just pop the color on. This color matches really well for a spray tan. Again, it's the shade 415. I am obsessed with it. You always wanna make sure you go all the way back to the ear and under the neck. So it's really important to match your foundation to your chest. I have a foundation for my spray tans. I have a foundation for when I'm really pale. You always want to make it seamless. That's the whole point of foundation is to almost make it look like you're not wearing it. It needs to match. So using the same beauty blender, my next step is my concealer. Right now, I am obsessed with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I do have one for my spray tans and for my pale life, but this one is in the shade 220. So in addition to being my under eye concealer, I also use this for a simple contour trick. I come from the top of the ear down to create a hollow look for the cheekbone. So putting concealer um, here on my nose creates an optical illusion that it's straighter than it is, so I always do that. Now you're just going to blend with your beauty blender. So once your concealer is done, we are on to baking. For that, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. If you don't know what baking is, it is just setting the face. And you can honestly put as much as you want under the eye to set it. But you do want to make sure that none of the concealer is creasing. Because if you go in and set the powder, that's going to set those creases and then they won't go away. So where we made our line, you can just literally copy it and go under it and just create a line there. Okay, so now we are ready for bronzing. Today I'm using the Bobbi Brown in Natural, and I'm going in with the Smashbox Angle Brush. It actually comes in the Smashbox kit for contouring, which I will show you guys in a little bit. But I'm just going to take my brush, and we're going to go right above that line that we made, and we're going to just contour. Putting my lips like this does help. I know it looks silly, but it's just what I do. I also put it above up here. Depending on your forehead, you don't have to do this step. You can skip it. But I do like to contour just a little bit up here to give you a sun-kissed glow. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush. This is the E2 and I'm going to do my neck. I always bronze my neck. I think it's a really important step to make everything blend. 
Okay, so this next step is not 100% necessary, but if you're new to contouring, this is the contour kit that I recommend to all of my friends and family. This is the Smashbox contour kit. There are three colors. This is a contour color. This is just like your main bronzer and then a highlight tone. So we're gonna go in with that same brush and just tap the stone color. And where we made the line, you can just go in and make a little shadow. And it's a really good way to get a contour without trying too hard or using like the liquid contours. You do want to be light handed with this color. If you go in too hard, you're going to look bruised, especially in natural lighting. So you always want to just use a little bit and build on it so that you're not going crazy. So another little trick for me using that same palette, I'm just going to go in with a little of the dark and a little of the middle tone and I'm just gonna contour my nose. So I just make a straight line from my eyebrow down to my nostril, and you do that on both sides. This brush is the Morphe M23. Nope, M21. So I do just grab my beauty blender and I clean up under where we made the line, sharpen everything, and just blend it out. It is so important to blend, blend, blend. And you can use your beauty blender for blending everything on the face. It is my favorite tool. When I'm in a rush and just getting my makeup done before work, I like to keep things simple, use very minimal products. So we're gonna go back in with that same bronzer, the Bobbi Brown Natural, and then we're gonna use our MAC 2, I think it's the 286 that came off. It's just a stipple brush, you can use any stipple brush. So we're just going to put it into the crease and we're just gonna use one eyeshadow for this look. Sometimes I wear eyeliner underneath and sometimes I just do this. This is a really good trick to give you a shadow underneath your waterline without using eyeliner. So we are ready for eyeliner. I'm currently using the Kylie just brown. As you can see, it is struggling, but it is my favorite liner. I like a natural brown look for this. So you just go from the end of your lash line right into the corner. Hit that waterline with this. Totally optional, I just love how it looks for me. So on to one of my favorite tricks. This is the Ardell Lash Grip. It is in black, so this is my lash glue and what I do is put a little bit on my hand and I'm gonna let that get tacky. So we're gonna do a couple other steps and let that just get tacky. And you're gonna know it's done when it has a little black ring around it, so you will know. So we're gonna go in with our Black Colossal. This is by Maybelline. It's my favorite mascara. I've used it forever. Honestly, I've never been one to spend a lot on mascara because I always end up putting a lash over it anyway. But the reason I stick with this is because it really, it's called Glam Black and it's really glam black. So I'm just gonna pop my mirror out and put a nice layer of mascara on your lashes. So while the glue is still getting tacky, we're gonna go in and do our highlighter and blush to complete the face. This is the Anastasia A23 Highlight Brush. I'm also going to be using the Becca Opal. And I like to create a little C from the high of my cheekbone and up around my eyebrow. This is the MAC Desert Rose, a really beautiful, simple pink. And then this is a e.l.f. stipple brush. Super cheap and affordable and easy to use. And I just kind of smile, put it on the cheekbone. Okay, so one last blend with our beauty blender to make sure that everything is cohesive. And then we're gonna be on to my favorite part. Okay, so on to my favorite accessory, eyelashes. Today we're gonna be using Lily Lashes in 3D Mink. For me, this is an everyday lash. For some of you, you might wanna stop right here. And then for some of you, you might wanna use a less dramatic lash. But for me, this is what I use almost every day. So I am in the near future gonna make a video all about lashes, but for today I'm just gonna show you my quick application. You're gonna take your lash and you're gonna run it right through that glue, making sure to get both the ends very well. I'm just gonna cup it 
And since it's really tacky, it should just be able to place right into the lash line. So make sure you're getting it right inside the lash line. Okay, grab the twin and we're gonna do that right on the other side. You wanna make sure there's no gap between your eyelash and the lash that you're placing on. That's another pet peeve of mine. You wanna make sure that you're squeezing the lashes together. And again, it should be tacky enough that you're able to do that and not have it slide around. Okay, so they should be set in place now. I forgot to mention I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude on my lips. That's all I was wearing. So we're going to quickly finish it off. I'm going to use Kylie Matte in Kylie. I love this color. And once it dries, I'm also going to go in with the new Charlotte Tilbury Lip Luster. This is the Pillow Talk. It is awesome. And that's going to give us a little gloss. So to set my face, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Got to pull my hair back so it doesn't get curly. And you're just going to give yourself a couple spritz. And that's going to set everything in place. Alright, so this is my finished glam using Lily Lashes. So if you guys had any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you can see all of my upcoming videos. Thank you again so much and I will see you in my next video. So in this look... It's alright. While watching the video, please link them below. I Link them below. God, you feel good, you look good, so I feel...